Let us clear up the confusions surrounding the use of the vocabulary terms displacement and distance. We start with a position vector. For this to have meaning, you must set up a coordinate system. In this example, we start with a Cartesian coordinate system. We then pick a final position vector. Keep in mind you need to reference everything to the axis. A negative sign does not mean less than, rather it is a reference direction. The displacement vector is defined as the change in the position vector. Both magnitude and direction matter. Displacement is applicable where you need to get to one position from another. You need to know how far and in what direction you have to travel. Even if you start with Cartesian coordinates, you should convert back to polar coordinates. Be especially careful when calculating the direction because you need to check the quadrant that you are traveling in. When the direction is not important, you report the distance between two positions. This is a scalar quantity. For example, when looking for a reception, you only care that a hotspot is nearby, it isn't important in what direction it is. The word distance is also used to refer to path length. This is for applications where it matters exactly what route you had taken between the two positions. For example, when calculating how much gas usage you have to budget for when traveling in a city grid, you would report the distance traveled. The path does not need to be Cartesian at all. When the path is on, say, a mountain road, the path length between two positions might be even longer. <laughs> 